Welcome to this tutorial about how to set up and run a heat treatment analysis for stress relief and then how to examine the results. In NetFab simulation we start with a part on a build plate using the default settings which means the material for both part and build plate is in Canal 625. On the home tab we click heat treatment to set up the simulation. In the dialog, select Simulate Heat Treatment and set the material annealing temperature to 649 degrees Celsius. For the time temperature curve, we start heat treatment with the part at room temperature and heat it to 899 degrees over half an hour or 1800 seconds. So that's our first table row. We hold the part at that temperature for another two and a half hours, which takes us to 10,800 seconds. Then we allow it to cool down to 25 degrees for another three hours, taking us to 21,600 seconds for the entire process. Click OK, then hit the Solve button and save the project in a suitable location. When the simulation is finished, load the results and first examine the temperature results to see the timing of different stages of the simulation. You see temperatures increase through the deposition process, then cool down to room temperature. When heat treatment begins, temperatures rise again, hold for about 9,000 seconds, then cool slowly until build plate removal at the end. Notice how the heat is transferred from the part to the build plate at the end of heat treatment. Now let's see how heat treatment affected the material stresses. We turn temperature off and turn on the display of Cauchy stress. To improve the display, we open the plot settings and change the range setting to global. The timestamp for this display indicates that we are seeing the stress results for the heat treatment phase. As the part heats up, we see stress releasing smoothly until it's all gone. So we have just shown how to run a heat treatment simulation and review the results for temperature and stress.